Hello everyone, welcome to our channel once again. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates and also leave a comment to express your thoughts on this. The Federal High Court in Lagos has granted an injunction restraining the Independent National Electoral Commission from using, engaging or further dealing with the chairman of Lagos Parks and Garages, Musiliu Akisonya, popularly known as MC Olomo, or any of his representatives in the distribution of election materials and ad hoc staff for the forthcoming polls in the state. Justice Chukujeku Aneke granted the interim interlocutory injunction after listening to an application filed by a Labour Party and two other political parties and their governorship candidates. Apart from the Labour Party and its governorship candidate in the state, Badebo Rhodes Vivo, the other political parties who filed the application are African Democratic Congress and its candidate Funsho Doherty and the boot party and his candidate Wale Oluwo. Reports gather that Einek, who is the only defendant in the suit, was absent at the proceedings even though the lawyer representing the parties, Abbas Areshekola, told the court that the commission was served with the court papers. In urging the court to grant the interim order, the applicant's counsel moved the application with an affidavit of urgency brought pursuant to Section 13, Subsection 3 of the Federal High Court Act, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004, Order 26 Rules 8 and 9, Order 28 Rule 1, Subsection 2 of the Federal High Court Civil Procedure, Rules 2009, and under the court's, and under the court's inter inherent jurisdiction. He also told the court the grounds for orders sought includes the fact that his clients who are plaintiffs or applicants will be severely, severely threatened by a lack of free and fair election in Lagos State, adding that it is in the interest of justice to restrain INEC from taking any step or further steps that may force of, of faith a comply on the substantive suit. After listening to the counsel, Justice Aneke held that said that I have listened to the submission of counsel and also pursue, perused the motion with affidavit of urgency and the grounds for the application. I found merit in the application. The order of inter interlocutory injunction is hereby granted. After the court granted the interim order, the applicant's counsel pleaded for an abridgment of time to hear the substantive suit because of the fast approach approaching election. Justice Aneke granted the application for abridgment of time and adjourned the hearing of the substantive suit to February 22nd, while ordering that all the processes in the suit be served on INEC. INEC Resident Electoral Commiss Commissioner in Lagos, Olusegun Agbaje, at, at earlier in February said the electoral body will work with Lagos State Parks Management Committee, headed by MC Oluomo, for the distribution of election materials and personnel across the state. However, the camp of the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, subsequently warned INEC against the use of the Parks Committee for the, san for the sanctity of the poll. Governor Babadide Samuolu had set up the Parks Committee after suspending the operations of the National Union of Road Transport Workers. Wow, thank God for the court in Joshua stopping INEC for using, from, uh, using a MC Oluomo to, dis to distribute sensitive, you know, electoral items in Lagos State and other parts of the nation. Uh, MC Oluomo is a, is an interest uh, in, in an election that is he has interest in. You know, MC Oluomo is a strong supporter of Bola Ahmed Tunubu, the presidential candidate of APC, and. Uh, He's been holding rallies, organizing march and uh, 10 million man march for Paul Ahmed Nobu. You know, he's playing a very great role in this 2023 uh, election for Bola Ahmed Nobu. He's one of those people fighting to make sure that Bola Ahmed Nobu, you know, uh, become the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. When Bola Ahmed Nobu won the president, won the, the primary, MC Olomo celebrated it as if he was celebrating the New Year festival. He celebrated it as if he was celebrating, you know, uh, uh, Ilea festival. It was a big celebration for him. You know, uh, MC Olomo was dancing and singing. 
and one of the sitting, uh, 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 the thing he was chanting is from Ushuli to Aso Rock. So such a man who is uh, 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 the leader of so-called, you know, uh, uh, Agboros in Lagos is now the man who the INEC is now considering to give the sensitive materials for the election to distribute. How on earth would they even come about this? How on earth did they even conceive it? Thank God for the court injunction stopping them from carrying out this act. Thank God for the court injunction stopping them to carry out this act. MC Olomo will do anything humanly possible to make sure that Nobu becomes the president. So somebody like that is supposed to be giving like hundred, you know, one million yards far from where electoral material is. He have his men. In fact, <laughs> I, I don't want to say that anyway on, on the social media, on the media, but it, it's a great one that the uh, court stopped them. I can't just imagine election that Mr. President have been trying all he can to make sure that we have free and fair credible election to be handed over to people who will undermine the process of this election who can do anything just to get power and INEC Lagos is already approving you know uh, the, the management of parks and garages to, to, to handle and to transport these uh, sensitive materials. If this court, if court has not given this injunction, you know, uh, the, 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 the fate of, you know, electorate will have been shattered because I know and I'm too sure that those materials will have been tempered with. That is one of the reasons they, 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 they wrote and requested for that uh, assistance, as if they want to do INEC and Nigerians good, but they have their intentions. As far as I'm concerned, there is no, I, I don't want to twist my word here. As far as I'm concerned, that is what they, they have their intentions planned out. This election, the president and INEC has planned that this election is going to be free and fair and they're going to do everything to make sure that this election is credible and free from rigging. But if you give opportunity to some people uh, 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 having laying their hands on the on the electoral material, those plans by Mr. President and INEC will actually you know be defeated. That is just it will be defeated. So the the decision of the court to 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 stop them is the best that have happened, you know, in in, in the modern democracy. Is the best that have happened in the recent democracy. This is a welcome development. This is a great one. And kudos to the governors of uh, 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 parties that took them to court to make sure that this uh, uh, unforeseen evil is stopped. You know, uh, when you cast your vote, your vote is supposed to be counted. But if this gets in, uh, into the hands of the wrong one, it means that all the effort of Mr. President and everybody will have been in vain. Kudos to the to the to the court, kudos to the judgment. Uh, I believe that you know uh, the electoral materials will be secured and not get into the wrong hands. Well, thank you for tuning in. Please, I want you to comment below. Let us know your take concerning this, and also subscribe to our channel for updates on this and more to come. Thank you.